Hey everyone, quick back here, Mr. Basics here. Let's talk about estimation of reducing sugar by DNSA method. Reducing sugars are the ones that have a free aldehyde or a keto group. For example, glucose and fructose are the reducing sugars. Glucose have a free aldehyde group on its first carbon, while the fructose have a free keto group on its second carbon. Usually, all the monosaccharides have the reducing properties. However, this is not the case in disaccharides. Sucrose is not a reducing sugar. I repeat, sucrose is not a reducing sugar. If you see the structure of sucrose, it's made up of glucose and fructose linked together by alpha 1 2 glycosidic bond. Now, Look carefully. The first carbon of glucose has an aldehyde group and here it is involved in the bond formation. Second carbon of fructose has a keto group and it's also involved in the bond formation. Now because sucrose does not have a free aldehyde or keto group, sucrose is a non-reducing sugar. Estimation of reducing sugar by DNS method. DNS stands for 3,5-dinitrosalicylic acid, sometimes it's also abbreviated as DNSA. When reducing sugars are treated with DNSA in boiling water bath, the 3,5-dinitrosalicylic acid is converted into 3-amino-5-nitrosalicylic acid. The 3-amino-5-nitrosalicylic acid have orange or brown color. Now with an increase in the concentration of reducing sugar, the intensity of orange color increases. The optical density of this orange color can be measured at 540 nanometers. Hence, by measuring the optical density of known concentration of reducing sugar and plotting its optical density, a standard curve can be obtained. Based on the standard curve, the concentration of unknown reducing sugar can be estimated.